Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, this is going to be the third in the series of little videos I'll be looking at some of the stuff Bombardier Billy Wells described. Um, William Thomas Wells, uh, British Army uh, and heavyweight boxing champion of Britain and the British Empire. He, he had a really unusual way of fighting which was based predominantly around the fact that he was a huge man. Uh, by the standards of the, the time, you know, he was born in the 1800s. He was six foot three and big. He was not a, a tall, skinny guy. To look at him, you just think, that's, that's a pretty stocky bloke. Uh, but he towered above most of his opponents in time. And because of that, he had quite an upright stance. He didn't have to lean into it towards anybody to, to be able to outreach them. So what he tended to do, um, was he used his jab a lot, and he was one of the first proponents of using the, the jab as just a method of controlling the space, rather than as a, a determined knockout punch in its own right. He talks a lot about the chin tap, and, and he uses it to set up other punches, and that's something that we now see in boxing all the time. But when, when Billy Wells was fighting, this was a relatively new idea. Um, and there's, there's a lovely little sequence that he shows, and this was uh, what he talks about, the, the, the two-punch combination that he used to knock out Private Voiles. So I had to get a book to check to make sure um, I had the name. And, and Voiles, I believe, was one of the people who was a challenger to uh, Billy Wells' title. And Billy Wells obviously won, but he says that Voiles gave him more trouble than anybody else. Um, effectively, what he did is, 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 in modern terms, is a very simple one-two, a jab cross. But he does this in, a, in, a, in an unusual way. So he starts off in his stance here, and he uses the, the chin tap, or the, the, the lead hand jab, whilst turning away and, 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 he says, retreating. But clearly he's not retreating, he's simply rotating away slightly and bringing his body out of alignment for the punch. So from here, he simply goes like that. And he's got this, this body upright, twisted away completely. So if we do it this way, he's going to come round to here. And, and it gives you this beautiful setup for his, his cross, which he throws again in quite an unusual way, is that he keeps his body completely upright and he throws this out in a straight line and throws this one right the way back. And this is a really nice little, little combination. If you outreach somebody, you know, you don't need to get inside, you don't need to dug in any. You can use your reach to your advantage and simply back away and come in with a straight punch. And he says that the first punch probably put him down, the second punch made sure he stayed down. And that's the important thing because you don't want him getting up again because uh, then you have to do it all over again. So if you can catch them, with that one, two, and even better. So that's, that's the, the, the last in the series for now from Bombardier Billy Wells. He'll make another appearance later in some of my other videos. But for now, um, I'll leave you to it. And um, that's modern boxing.